well as times of pleasure, your love will stand firm and unyielding. By acting with the most loving intentions, your marriage will bring you wisdom and allow you to always to recognize the divine and the other. Your love is truly a gift that will only grow stronger, grow stronger with time. And also, the more you share its bounty with the wonderful people in your lives, it is the joyful journey you will now start as husband and wife. Now, Joy's sister, Lynn Stillwagon, will now read from the New Testament of Jesus Christ, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious, or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And now faith, hope, and love abide, and the greatest of these is love. One of Milton and Joy's great loves is the music of Bob Marley. <laughs> As you two solidify your commitment to each other in front of your families and friends, May his words guide your intentions. I want to love you and treat you right. I want to love you every day and every night. We'll be together with a roof right over our heads. We'll share the shelter of my single bed. We'll share the same room. Child provides the bread. I will now ask that as you join hands for your vows, as your hands are joined, so join your hearts. Milton, do you take joy to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, in joy and in sorrow, to love, honor, and cherish her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Joy, do you take Milton to be your wedded husband? To have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, in joy and in sorrow. To love, honor, and cherish him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him, for as long as you both shall live. I do. I will now read the seven blessings provided by Milton's childhood rabbi, Rabbi Golden. We give thanks for life, for health, for all that sustains us and for this joyous day. We honor the mystery and wonder and creation's every breath. We praise human being its yearnings for tomorrow's wine and for the taste of this morning's bread. We celebrate the divine energy that pours through our separate selves and makes us one. We sing of these friends whose life renews itself in their communion of body and mind and heart. We pray that like joy be found in our four corners, justice, freedom, Laughter, truth, peace, love, and hope, the human heritage become at last the human way. We rejoice with our friends who now share the fruit that gladdens the heart. Now from ancient times, wedding rings have symbolized the unbroken circle of love. They speak to the world of a couple's unconditional and infinite love for each other, and that divine love encircles their marriage just as their rings and circles their fingers. Milton and Joy, your rings will be an outward symbol to the world of your love and commitment to each other. But more importantly, each time you are conscious of them, may they always remind you of the vows you have taken today. Milton? Milton, please place your gift of a ring on Joy's finger and repeat after me. <laughs> there we go. Just as the circle is without end. Just as the circle is without end. 
My love for you is eternal. My love for you is eternal. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And pledge my love, devotion, and heart to you. Pledge my love, devotion, and heart to you. Forevermore. Joy, please place the ring on Milton's finger and repeat after me. Just as the circle is without end, Just as the circle is without end. My, love for you is my love for you is eternal. With this ring I thee wed, With this ring I thee wed. and pledge my love, devotion, and heart to you forevermore. Now, Milton and Joy, before you met, your lives were on different paths with different destinations. But love has brought you together and joined these separate paths into one. Each one of your friends and family here today has been given a small polished stone that represents his or her uniqueness and presence at your wedding today. Each of you also have a stone of your own that symbolizes your previous separate lives, separate sets of friends, separate families, and the different life's journeys you once traveled. I would now ask that everyone please take out the stone that you have been given and pause to make a wish or blessing for happiness and goodwill for the couple for the future of their wedding. Just go ahead and take out your stones. Can we get them if we don't have them before we make the wish? Does someone have extra stones here? Yes, can sir, you back? can rub mine. Does someone please grab the ones in the back and we'll hand a... Yeah. One. We're going to have some beautiful music in a second, so we have plenty of time. Okay. Once they have been given out, we will now collect the stones. Then the couple will add their individual stones to the container as well. The couple's friend, Spring, will sing a song that she originally wrote for her brother's wedding years ago entitled, We Sang For You. No, nope, wrong song. Change the song. Substitution. She will sing a substitution song. Okay. We ask that you all, well, we won't join in the chorus because it's a different song. In the Moment is the name of the song. Thank you. So we thank you now for the lesson that has brought me where I am. So grateful for the blessing better than I was before I was never more in the moment than the moments I spent with you I was never more in the moment Come on. 
to me just one more time. Feel the love, say you'll be mine. Come to me just one more time. Feel the love. stones and voices you have now symbolically joined your once separate lives. As the stones have combined with love into one container, so now are your friends and family joined through you into one. And your once solitary life's paths are also now one. All that was once separate is now shared. And in this sharing, you both will find new strength and joy as together you forge a new path through this life. And now, as a closing prayer, Milton's Uncle Stanley will bless the couple with the Cohen's blessing, first in Hebrew, and then the English translation. May God bless thee and keep thee. May God look kindly unto thee. Gracious unto thee, and God bring his high continents unto thee, and grant thee peace. Amen. In an ancient tradition, a wedding ceremony has often been finalized with the breaking of a glass. As the glass shatters, we hope the couple is blessed with as many children as there are shards of glass. <laughs>
wonder who wrote that. <laughs> yeah. I know. Also, may their vows be as hard to break as it would be to put the glass back as it was before. Now, as Milton breaks the glass, with the power vested in me, I pronounce the couple husband and wife. 